This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their CS Discoveries course. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games, Lesson 19, Functions, Part 3. Let's see what we're doing. Reorder and Code. Placing code inside functions makes it easy to read and make changes. Good names for functions indicate what your program is doing to a reader. You can call your functions in a different order to quickly make a significant to quickly make significant changes to how your program runs. Do this. This program has already created four functions. Oh, all right. That draws parts of a scene. Unfortunately, it's not coming out right. Read the four functions to know what they do. Call the functions in an order that draws the scene in the way that looks best to you. Okay, so let's see. Now these are the functions, right? The green stuff that says function, that means, hey, we're making a function. And we have a draw background scene, we have a draw tree scene, draw clouds, and a, a draw fences. Okay. And they all have yellow triangles. Well, there's something I don't see, right? If I hit run, uh-oh, what's going on there? Let's hold over the yellow triangle. Draw background is defined, but it's not in your program. Let's see if I, we can read it all. It's not called in your program. Calling a function means asking it to run. This is called a function declaration. We create the function, the computer knows it's there, but we have to tell the computer when to run a function. So let's go over to functions and grab this and drop it up here, okay? Uh, just for clarity, I'm gonna create a space right there. All right, so now we wanna make something run. I'm gonna do draw background first. So to make a function run, again, it's not this one, I dragged over this one, and then you write the function's name up here. So, whoops. Draw background. Let's hit run, or reset, run. Oh, we got a background. Okay, cool. Now let's make another function run. Draw a tree, sure. We'll do it in the order that they have created them and see what that looks like. Let's see if it works first. Okay, so far so good. Then we're gonna do draw clouds and draw fence. All right, function there, function there. So draw clouds and make sure you're capitalizing like they do. You don't capitalize the start of a function, right? But you capitalize each new word inside of it. Let's see. Oh, okay. I see what they mean. I'm not so sure about this order. What if I do? Uh, do I want the, mm, I definitely, mm, I want the trees in front of our cloud. So I'm going to grab trees and pull that down here. So that looks like, but I kind of want the fence behind the trees too. Ooh, I like it. Well, but then look, the fence is poking out. Ooh, that fence, fine. I'll put the trees behind the fence. Try that. All right, all right. Ta-da! So that's the scene. And this is the order that it calls each function. First it draws the background, then it goes, it draws the background, runs all of this code, goes back up here, goes in the next line, draw clouds. The computer looks for draw clouds, draws all of this code, hits the end, goes all the way back up here, and then, oh, I gotta draw trees. Runs all this code, so on and so forth. Awesome, let's move on.